Five. Let me repeat that three times. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Now we're going to do five thumb pressure spots right along the medial border of the scapula. One, two, three, going along with the shoulder four, blade. Yes. Five, and then repeat that three times. Then three points across the top of the spine of the scapula mostly on the supraspinatus muscle, starting here, one, and then halfway out, two, and then the next one is right where the first line that we started in the series ended, right between the medial border, right between the scapula and the clavicle, three. And then repeat that three times, one, two, Three, one, two, three. So now we're going to do squeeze and roll kneading of the deltoid muscle. It's better to bring the hand around like this. The one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Repeat that three times. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So now we're going to do squeeze and roll kneading of the triceps. <coughs> one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and repeat that two more times. Now we're going to do pump pressure along the side of the brachioradialis muscle. Five different spots from the elbow to the wrist. One, two, three, four, and the last one's right on the wrist. Five. Repeat that two more times. One, two, three, four, five. Then thumb pressure along these same spots on the side of the brachioradialis from the elbow to the wrist. Two, three, on the ball, four, uh -huh. five. Repeat two more times. So now palm pressure between the ulna and radius from the elbow to the wrist. One, two, three, four, and the last one's right on the wrist. Five.
So then you do thumb pressure between the ulna and the radius in five spots from the elbow to the wrist. Two, three, four, and the fifth one's right in this depression at the wrist. Five. Now we're going to do fingers and thumbs squeeze the wrist. Thumbs on one side, fingers on the other. Distal to the ulna and radius in the wrist and squeeze three times. One, two, three. So now we're going to do heels of your hands. Squeeze and spread the back of client's hand. One, two, three. So now we're going to do slide your thumbs between the metacarpals. You're going to slide your thumbs simultaneously between the fourth <coughs> and the fifth metacarpal and between the second and the third metacarpal. Three times. One, two, three, and then you're going to slide your thumbs between the third and the fourth metacarpals and the first and the second metacarpals three times. One, two, three. I'll just like alternate to keep it there. So now we're going to do thumb pressure between the metacarpals from the proximal to the distal part of the metacarpals simultaneously between the fifth and the fourth metacarpal and between the second and the third metacarpal, five acupressure spots. One, two, three, four, five. And then repeat that two more times. And then do the same thing between the third and the fourth metacarpals and the first and the second metacarpals. One, two, three, four, five, and repeat that two more times. Edge of the thumb root, right? So now you do thumb pressure on the acupressure spot, large intestine four. Between your thumb and your index finger on both sides, pressing like this. One, two, three. Right on the web in the very base of the area between the first and second metacarpals. So now rock the wrist, balance the wrists on your index fingers, put your thumbs on top of the wrist and rock it back and forth 12 times like this. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> okay, go ahead.
Right. So this is traction and shake the arm. You just traction the arm towards you and then lift it slightly. Shake it gently as you pull it gently. And then just put their arm back by their side. And then you do the other arm. <laughs> so we're going to do rocking the back. Gently put your hands across the spine and the rhomboid area so you can feel the spine. You're not pushing on it. You can just feel it. Put your right hand over the sacrum and rock it back and forth 12 times like this. And you'll feel the spine going under your left hand, rocking back and forth under your left hand. Now we're going to do palm stretching the erector spiny muscles. You keep your arms straight, back arch forward, and you lean into it, <coughs> and this will stretch out the erector spiny muscles. This, the right hand's about T1, left hand's below it, and you just lean into it, straight arms, and this stretches out the erector spiny muscles on the right. And you do five different positions on the right side. And then five positions back up the left side. Uh -oh. This one's called rocking the spine. Put the fingers of your left hand on the right side of the spine and the fingers of your left hand over the right right hand over the left hand and pull it back 12 times and let it pull and let it settle pull settle 12 times and then move down And then push on the other side of the spine. Now you just do straight palm pressure with your fingers pointing laterally with the heels of your hands starting between <coughs> the spines of the scapula. Just use downward pressure one on five different spots. Two, three, four. The fifth one just above the scalp, the sacrum. Right. Repeat that three times. 